So the final step is to finish with the cabling at the front of the machine. Now the great thing about the Amara and the Forte channel locks is that the designers of the Amara and the Forte have put all of the cabling inside the machine. On the Avante or the Simply 16, the cabling for the electromagnetic channel locks is routed along the top of the machine itself because we need at the front of the machine the switch box. But for the Amara and the Forte, the rest of the cabling is inside the machine. But what we have to do is to fit this switch box at the front here somewhere and plug this in. To do that, we need to remove the nose cone of the machine. This is the nose cone here. First of all, of course, make sure the machine is still off. We, we are exposing some live elements of the machine now, so we need to make sure the machine is off first. I'll just tilt up that screen firstly here. And there is a three millimeter hex key bolt here that releases the nose cone. So I'm just going to loosen that. That can fall out easily, that bolt. And the cable, this end of the cable on the switch box fits onto the board that, that's on the inside of this nose cone here. And you'll see that there is a socket here, which is where this plugs into. So I'll just do that. I need to turn it around the other way because there's not, uh, it's not easy for me to do and show the camera at the same time. So I'm plugging that in. Again, make sure you're not touching the, uh, the board. So I've plugged that cable in. So now there are two cables. There was one cable that was already here that goes to the screen itself. And this is the new one that is the other end of the switch box. So we can now put this nose cone back in place. There are a couple of things we have to be very careful of. Firstly, these two cables can get trapped very easily when we put the uh, cone back in place. And third, secondly, there is an earthing cable here at the top and the bolt that holds, holds the nose cone in place has to go over the top of that earth cable here. So making sure that that earth cable is in place, we can turn that around again. There's a little nodule at the bottom of here which fits into this slot. Try not to pull these cables whilst you're doing this. And that goes in at the bottom first and then the top pushes in. And I'm watching to make sure that these two cables are fitting into a slot that's at the top of the nose cone so that they don't get trapped. Now I can re-tighten this. This certainly doesn't need to be tight at all. It's a plastic component, just tight enough to hold it firmly in place. So the screen's in place. Here's our switch box. And this just needs to be somewhere accessible. The kit comes with some Velcro, two little strips of Velcro, for attaching the switch box to the machine. Now you can fit it wherever you like, um, but what we need to have is somewhere that it's accessible for you to use the switch box. And I've put some of the Velcro on the back of the switch box and I've put the other side onto the left-hand side of the machine here. You certainly don't want it on the right-hand side of the machine because that's gonna get in the way of your thread path. But there's my Velcro, put that in place here and this switch is now easily accessible.